Alright, Shalom. And give all praise to you. How about you? I was shy. Double honor to the elders. And peace to you, brothers, pushing this word. And truth, sincerity, and faith. Uh, I got another lesson. Another uh, quick quick uh, information that I want to give to you, brothers, through the Spirit. How about you? I was shy. Um, the basis I want to go into the uh, Iberian Peninsula or the people known as the Iberians, all right? Which um, will correspond to the uh, the uh, uh, Spain, all right, today, all right, and going back to hundreds of years before during the uh, beginning of uh, the AD period after uh, the Lord had died. I know Domini in the Latin. Uh, during during the uh, uh, the so-called last 2,000 year period, you had a people settle in what is today known as the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, and those people that settled there were known as the Iberians. All right, and um, basically, I'm going to show you that the Iberians. All right, the the Iberians and those early in inhabitants. They actually, um, the the uh, place was given its name for, or name from, were actually Hebrew Israelites, okay, or Hebrews. All right. So I'm gonna go into the etymology of this um, word Iberia or the Iberian Peninsula, okay, because uh, places are named after people. All right. The the uh the scriptures talk about the place being named for the people, and not the people for the place. All right. So it says the uh, let's see, I got that right. Uh, etymology. All right. It says the Iberian Peninsula has always been associated with the Ebro River, Iberos, in ancient Greek, and Iberus or Hyberus in Latin. All right, so you can brothers can see the connection of a uh, Iber or Heber, uh, uh, Hiberius to either Ibar or Hebrew. All right, it says the association was so well known it was hardly necessary to state. For example, Iber was the country this side of the Iberus in Strabo. All right, so basically what they're trying to say is. Um, the Iberian Peninsula was named for what is known as the uh, Ebro River, which actually goes back to Ibr uh, Iberos and the Greek and Iberus or Hyberus in the Latin. All right. So basically, that's what the Iberian Peninsula goes back to. But with further research and further um, and, and investigation, you go further. Right, you get more information because basically what they're trying to say is the uh, the land mass, okay, right here, the Iberian Peninsula was named for the river, okay, Ebero or Hiberus, okay. But I'm gonna prove that it actually goes back to uh, the Hebrews, okay. So I have an article here, which is uh, this article here is called. Um, uh, save, save your heritage, save your heritage. All right, save your here, save your people, and bless your heritage. All right, um, which I've been doing lessons, going back to um, re re remembering the heritage of the Hebrew Israelites. All right, and how vast and and, and deep our heritage goes, which actually goes back to. The Holy Scriptures and how we're supposed to follow the laws of the Heavenly Father and our faith in the Son. Okay, but as far as as far as uh, things being as far as different places and different countries being established on the earth, Israelites or Hebrew Israelites actually has and um, started started these places, so to speak. And one of those places were uh, was uh, Spain or the Iberian Peninsula. All right, so this is going into uh, Spain. All right, and it says Iberia. 
Okay? It says the original name for Spain was Iberia. The association is with the Ebro River, like I just read in Wikipedia. Alright? It says the Greeks called the whole of Spain Hiberia because of the river Hiberus. Right? According to Pliny, which goes back to the Latin, which I read in Wikipedia. It's <coughs> lucky, but this goes a little bit further. It says the Ebro River appears in the Ebro Treaty of 226 between Rome and Carthage using the river as the border and referring to the border Polybius states that the native name is Iber alright what you brothers know actually go back to Ibar okay in the Hebrew which is the uh, actual Lashwan Kordash name for uh, Eber when you go to Genesis 10 okay <clears throat> it says historians claim not to know the original meaning of the word is because they don't want to know. <coughs> it's like it. All right. It says um, Eber. It says Ebro comes from Eber of the Bible. Eber was the progenitor of the Hebrews. The ancient Hebrews settled the peninsula of Iberia and gave it their name. Right? It says, now you know. The white man settled Spain and Portugal. <coughs> okay? It says, the white man settled Spain and Portugal after. This is after the, um, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, which were so-called, um, Jews, not so-called Jews, but, but but which were the real Jews, uh, which were so-called Negroes at that time period during the Dark Ages. <clears throat> they um basically settled their land, all right. Israelites settled their land during uh, the Dark Ages, okay, and they gave the name of that land, the um um Iberia or 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 um um. Hiberius or whatever, but they gave it uh, that name after their own name, which goes back to Hebrew. Okay? It says the first agriculturalists on the Iberian Peninsula arrived around 6000 BC. Before them, like other cultures, the people were nomadic hunters. What they got, what they're going off. <laughs> the history of man <coughs> only goes back to 6000 BC during the time of Adam. It says around 4800 BC, the first, okay, this is basically going way off, alright, but you see the point, it says Eber comes from, Eber, it, it says, uh, let's lock it, it says Ebro comes from Eber of the Bible, Eber was the progenitor of the Hebrews, the ancient Hebrews, which were Israelites, settled the peninsula of Iberia and gave it their name, now you know. The white men settled Spain and Portugal. Alright? <clears throat> and that's basically where the name comes from. Okay? And to prove that, I got the scriptures up. Okay? And this is from the blueletter.com. The blueletterbible.com. And I got uh, Genesis. Matter of fact, I got Genesis. Uh, what did I want to get? Okay, I got Genesis. Chapter 14. Alright. Matter of fact, before I get Genesis 14, I want to get Genesis 10. Alright, I thought I had it up, but I'll go back to it. Alright. This is Genesis chapter 10. Alright. Genesis chapter 10. <clears throat> Verse. 
Corinthians chapter 10 verse 21 It says unto Shem also The father of the children of Eber The brother of Japheth the elder Even to him were children born Alright Now it talks about Shem uh, Being the father of Eber right Which Eber goes back to Iber Ibar uh, Hebrew Okay And this is basically the deal So you got the name Eber right So when you look that up So when you look that up Okay This is basically the definition you're going to find for it This is uh, Eber The name of Eber which is Ibar Or Heber Which it means the region beyond Alright uh, Son of Salah Great grandson of Shem, father of Peleg and Joktins. All right. So basically, um, it's gonna go into Eber, okay, which is where you get the word Hebrew from. Okay. Now it says Hebrew, right? I'm, I'm click on Hebrew. What's <coughs> Hebrew? Okay. All right. Um, which it takes you to the word Heber when you click on it it goes back to Ibar right so when you so you got the root word here the same as Ibar alright so when you go into that it takes you to uh, Hebrew one from beyond let me make sure I got that right that is H uh, five six seven six. So, all right, so I'm going to H five six seven six. All right, which means region beyond or across or side, right? So you got uh, H five six seven four, which is the same word I bar, but you can see I bar, and that takes you to. Uh, the same word I bar okay now they say that it means the uh, the region beyond or the past beyond right but it actually means from the past a bar means past like if you were to do something in the present and you speak about it um, in the future what you did was uh, past it was in the past right now, for example, 9-11 happened September 11, 2001. The World Trade Centers were taken down in that present period. But when we talk about it today, 2014 of April, it was in the past. And that's basically what uh, Ibar means. Okay? It means the past. Okay? Now, go, now, just, now just clicking on it in general, that first word of Hebrew, it doesn't tell you that. I mean... Of Eber, it doesn't tell you that. But as you keep clicking into these root words, it's going to give you the correct definition, right? So you go down to number four, and it says it right here: to be past. Okay, to be past. All right, be over, meaning complete. It's past. It's, it, it was back then. Okay, it was already done. Okay. <clears throat> and that's the actual primitive root of Eber Ibar, and that's what it means. It, it means back to the past. So like it. All right, it means back to, to the past. All right, it means back to the past, okay? Um, and that's basically where you get the word uh, Hebrew from. All right, and I think I had clicked on it earlier. If I can get it, because you're gonna, because if you keep going to the uh, the root words, it's gonna give you the correct definition. Right now, you have the word Ibaria, okay? Which Ibaria. All right. Matter of fact, I got I got that scripture as well. Okay, Genesis 
chapter 14 and 13. Alright, this is Genesis chapter 14, verse 13. Okay. <clears throat> it says, And there came one that had escaped and told Abram the Hebrew, for he dwelt in the plain of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshol, and brother of Arur, and these were confederate with Abram. Alright. So you click on that word, Genesis 14, 13, and you actually go into the, what the word Hebrew means, okay? It says Abram the Hebrew, right? You click on the word Hebrew, which is the same word. You see I, bar, I, bar, but it says I, bar, ya, right? So you click on that. H, five, six, eight, zero, okay? And it tells you, it takes you, it's the root word for uh, Ibaria or Hebrew is the word Ibar, which the word Hebrew means one from beyond, okay? Which actually means, when it goes back to the root, actually means um, from the past. Eber, or see, Eber, Eber, or Heber, as you can see it as I, as I highlighted, all right? So that's basically where you get the original name for um, Hispania or Spain from Iberia. So the original people that settled their land were the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Israelites, which were known as Hebrews. All right. Uh, so with that, uh, I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna say all, all praise to you. How about you? was shy. Double honor to the elders for uh, de delivering us this truth. And peace, blessings, and safety to you, brothers of the elect of Israel, all over the planet, pushing his word. Shalom.